but there is that possibility, especially in our western areas, for a stray shower between now and roughly 3 a.m. We have a modest cold front slip through and some lingering atmospheric moisture. So that's the reason why we have just isolated spots of rain and considerable cloudiness. East to northeast winds around that high pressure system will maybe help to give us some partial sunshine for tomorrow. I do think it will be a gradual process. We have to get through the night where the mild air and the lingering moisture can keep cloudiness rather wide stretched. But we do foresee extra warming tomorrow, warming as just the rise in temperatures back into the 70s, and that will help to break that cloud deck, especially in the eastern half of the region. But just as quickly as that happens, very likely the mild and somewhat humid conditions, especially higher in the atmosphere, lead us to have more clouds for your Wednesday night. It's going to be Wednesday night and into Thursday morning that we have to monitor a stronger push of southerly winds and a very vigorous area of low pressure in the Tennessee Valley, pushing a front in our general direction, crossing through our counties, likely into your Thursday morning. With that line, we can have some gusty thunderstorms, generally breezy conditions, but when that line pushes in, wind gusts can reach about 50 miles per hour, and there can be just enough of a wind difference and wind speeds to prompt an isolated tornado, and that can occur maybe in the pre-more dawn hours of your Thursday. So the timing will be adjusted as are the hazards, but there is at least some concern that you should know about when it comes to the possibility of severe weather late Wednesday night west through our Thursday morning, especially in the western half of the region, the tri state, the western coastal Big Bend, where we can see that higher risk. We'll keep you advised as we go towards that time. Our lows tonight without any kind of severe weather concerns, 50 or so east to the mid 50s elsewhere and highs tomorrow range from the upper 60s across the inland areas to lower 70s in our North Florida communities. Wednesday, that south wind pushes in a little extra warmth and moisture so we can reach the mid 70s, warm, humid conditions and breezy trends plus a front. That means those strong to possibly severe thunderstorms into the first portion of Thursday. If you're going to Elf Night, by the way, Thursday evening, the front and the storms will be gone. It will be breezy and turning colder. Sunshine breaks out, but it stays pretty chilly for the weekend to come. More ahead.